Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be giving you my review, demo, swatches, and a look for each of the new Dior Velvet eyeshadow palettes. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads, and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to know all the details about these new Dior Velvet eyeshadow palettes, then just keep on watching. just gave us an overload of new makeup releases it's just insane about a week ago i just reviewed their dior riviera summer 2022 collection and right now they drop five different eyeshadow queens i picked up all of them for some reason i just received four of them the other one may be arriving later i don't know i have to check with them but anyhow here i have them i'm gonna play around with them these are the velvet formula or supposed to be the velvet eyeshadow palettes um, but I already opened them up to take pictures Instagram reels and all of that if you don't follow me on Instagram please come and follow me there but um, some of them they seem like they have the velvet formulation that actually is featured on the mono eyeshadows but at the same time you're gonna see that not all of the palettes are velvet in formula they do have a velvet one a matte one a satin one anyhow we're gonna go on all the details also Dior has reformulated their two mascaras and that is their clean approach I have went ahead and picked it up but I realized about the reformulation of the mascaras afterwards and same thing they have released eyeliners that they look amazing they do not only have you know your typical black they have it in a matte finish in a satin finish they do have brown maroon they have gorgeous green shades pink tones i mean they have come out with so so much so i went ahead and pick up those products as well <laughs> but we will do another video with a try on haul or you know something along those lines today we're going to dedicate this video to these new velvet eyeshadow palettes from Dior. As you can tell, I already have my foundation, concealer, bronzer, blush already on. I will be leaving all the details as far as my makeup goes and the details of where to find these new eyeshadow palettes from Dior on the description box below along with the links for your convenience. Let me show to you the eyeshadows that I will be featuring on today's video. So I have here 519 Nude Dentel and as you can tell, the Unicorn now is matte. They are as usual made in France with the seven grams of product very nice lovely and let me show it to you how it looks on the inside the compact is also matte which in a way I kind of like I kind of like that it's matte right now um, it looks more modern perhaps a little bit more sleek um, I like the other compacts too it's not that I'm against them but I also love this soft matte finish. So here you have, this is Nude Dental 
This shade right here has a little specks of gold flecks. I decided to change my lipstick to something a little bit more subdued. Again, I will be leaving it on the description box below, but basically I apply Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude and then I went with this amazing, gorgeous lip gloss by Victoria Beckham Beauty in Bikini. If you haven't watched, I do have already a review with the swatches of all the new shades from these glosses from Victoria Beckham Beauty. They are stunning. And let's go really quick about formulation right here. Like I mentioned to you before, it's not that all of the eyeshadow palettes will contain only the velvet formula, which is um, a different type of matte formulation. It looks super beautiful on the eyelids. It's very forgiving on texture and on aging eyes. In fact, the Velvet Eyeshadow Formulation from Dior reminds me a lot to the formulation that we find in Hindash palettes. That very like silky, soft, very smooth type of formula. But the big difference between the Velvet Formulation from Dior and the Hindash one is that Hindash Formulation, you can actually blend it with a blender brush, while the Velvet Formulation from Dior it's ideal for you to pack if you start blending you may find a little bit of like 
patches, and that doesn't mean that it's a bad formulation. It's just another formula that is ideal for you to pack. So I will highly suggest to use brushes like, for example, the Isum G27 brush. It's a packing brush. This is a really good brush to pack, as well as, for example, this one right here by Sonia G is the Jumbo Blender. Any type of brush that is more like a packing brush, it's ideal for this type of formulation, the Velvet formula, which is, again, this matte formulation right here it looks very beautiful and very forgiving on the eyelids and all of these eyeshadows the satin formulation that you see right here is also a very subdued type of satin formulation it's nothing like a metallic formula it's very ethereal it's going to give you a very soft velvet look either if you use the matte or the satin shades the look is going to be very velvety, very beautiful, and it's just incredible. Out of all the eyeshadows right here, the one that I love the most is definitely this one. The blue velvet is not only more unique, it truly yells blue. It's not like the Deming eyeshadow palette from Dior. It's gorgeous too, but this one right here is a gorgeous blue intense look intense but very sophisticated as well if i have to suggest another one of these palettes i will say i really like nude dentel although it's a very you know it's just a nudie palette very common the color story is nothing out of this world i think again it's very beautiful it's a little bit different too because you have a little bit more warmer and copper tones too which is very lovely it's not as unique but it's lovely too and then as far as uniqueness goes aside to blue velvet i will say coral paisley this one right here it will give you very unique looks i really love this shade right here it goes intense on the eyelids um actually if you are familiar with the Tom Ford formulation for his blushes, which he, in fact, came out with a eyeshadow quad Velle de Peche in this formula. That's kind of like what you will get on your eyelids. Very soft, plushy looks that are not powdery, that they do not gather, that they are, again, very forgiving, very, very lovely, unique formulation. And I'm really happy that Dior decided to bring it in his eyeshadow palettes. Now, it is my understanding that these are limited edition. Hopefully, they are not. Hopefully, they stay on the line because that will be ideal. Because to be honest with you, on the velvet mono eyeshadow, single eyeshadows from Dior, I don't tend to go for mono eyeshadows unless I'm one of one and done, you know, like kind of like that they have a little bit more of like a satin metallic finish. But in terms of like matte shades on singles, I'm not too fond to get those type of eyeshadows. So I really like that we now have it on these kind of eyeshadow palettes. And also I really love this matte finish. Um, it's not only because the glossy one is finger, you know, like fingerprint central, but I just like it. It looks more modern. I think it's it give a little bit of an edge. I'm very, very curious to try the new mascara formulation. I'm very excited about it too, as well as the eyeliners. They look really, really amazing and they have the felt tip kind of applicator, which those I really, really love. Okay, my friends, and I think this makes it for this video. I hope you find it helpful, informative. If you want to see comparisons, I will be happy to do comparisons either on a separate video or I can post it on my Instagram. It will be really amazing if you come and follow me there. And that way, because honestly, it's not that each eyeshadow palette right here is identical to another one from Dior. I know there are shades that they may look alike, but in general, they are unique. I think they are unique. They are pretty. Perhaps the only one that is, I don't want to say my least favorite, but kind of like, oh, it's okay, is this one right here, which is surprised me because I thought I was going to be like more into it, Rose Mutabilis, and it's, I think it's because... You know, the reddish tones, I have had so much about reddish tones from Chanel in the past. And I also have another palette, uh, which one is it? Um, Rouge Trafalgar by Dior that has also reddish tones. So this one right here is like, 
Okay, to me, the blue velvet is the most unique out of all. And then Coral Paisley, yeah, they are so, I mean, like, they are all so beautiful. I'm very curious to try the one that it was missing on my package. Hopefully I receive it and I will be creating another eyeshadow look in a different video. Okay, my friends, I would love to know from you. Are you planning to pick up any of these new eyeshadow palettes from Dior? Which one is your favorite? Let's just continue the conversation on the comment section down below. And while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.